Well, numerous sources have confirmed to us, including the coroner's office, that that man who is dead is Josh Corbett, and that name should be familiar if you know anything about the Sandra Bullock case, because he was a man who pleaded no contest to stalking her and threatening her. And now, after police went up to his house, just to run around, right around the corner from here in La Crescenta, there was a standoff, and he's dead. LAPD said the intention to come to this home where Josh Corbett lives was to arrest him. They wouldn't say why, but it's the same Josh Corbett who pleaded no contest to stalking Sandra Bullock. What happened next was a standoff. And the suspect had died at scene. According to the LAPD, when detectives knocked on the door, Corbett told them, I'm going to kill you. And then the detectives retreated. The SWAT team was called in, and then just before 1 o'clock, when they entered the house, they found Corbett dead. There was no officer involved shooting. The officers fired no shots. Police will not say if Corbett shot himself or stabbed himself, just that they found him in the house dead. Corbett had pleaded no contest to stalking and breaking into the home of Miss Bullock. When he was captured in her home, he had a love letter in which he said in part, quote, you are my wife by law, the law of God, and you belong to me. He was sentenced to time in a mental hospital, but on June 30th of last year, he was quietly released, which shocked the actress and her attorney who thought he was going to be in for much longer. There was also a restraining order that Corbett had to stay away from the actress uh, by 200 yards, and uh, that was good until June of 2022. Now, we have been told, we haven't been able to confirm, but we have been told that the reason they came here to arrest him was that he had violated his probation. He still has a five-year probation over the fact that he pleaded no contest. Back to you in the studio.